Hey guys, how's it going? It's your girl DJ, and you are back trading with DJ. I got new hair, yes, yes, yes. Period. But um, <laughs> all jokes aside, guys. Today, um, honestly, I just want to thank everybody who's been tuning in, who's been dropping some really good feedback. I'm really grateful for you. Just know that, guys. Everybody, for every single one of you that's watching, everybody that subscribed, and if you're watching, you didn't subscribe. I don't know what to tell you because why not subscribe when you're getting some free juice, right? But honestly, the goal is really to make sure that you understand the information. If I'm explaining and you're not understanding, then what's the point of posting these videos, right? So that's why I break down in details to make sure you know what you're doing when you're watching the videos, you're applying the information. Make sure that you're not just you're watching these videos, you're actually applying the information that you're learning from these videos. But we got to 2,000 subscribers, guys. Ah, I'm excited. That's exciting. Let's get to 10K. Let's get to 10K and keep growing, guys. It's so great to be able to. If you were here from the beginning, if you subscribed when I was at 100 subscribers and now we're at 2,000, I just want to be, I just want to let you know I'm thankful for you. Are you paying attention? Because it doesn't make sense if you're just watching the information and you're not applying it. So the information I'm about to share with you, make sure you're watching. I'll show you exactly how I trade SBX 500 and US 30, how I snipe the market, how I scalp and make crazy amounts of money, how I just go in and out of the market with the bag. So I'm going to show you how easy and simple I keep it. I keep it super simple, stupid simple. It does not have to get complicated. Yes, they are crazy heavy pairs. I want to make sure that you're prepared for that. With SPX 500, you can honestly trade it with like a $200, $300 account. But with US 30, your account has to be at least $500 because the way US 30 run, it could either make or break you. And if you don't want to be broken, don't do what I did and trade US 30 with a $100 account, okay? Do it the right way. And I mean it, okay? So um, let's continue. I actually personally trade these more than regular FX crosses. Um, my team knows that and, you know, they, they root for me for it. Simply because I just like it better. Um, my style of trading, I like to scalp and I like the way it moves really fast. So that's my thing. If, if that's your thing, then let's go. We're on the same train. But basically what I do with the SBX, actually, I learned how to trade indices through um, the platform that I use with my team. That's where I learned how to do it, uh, to trade indices the way that I do it. I learned from this specific amazing person. And you can definitely have access to this person, but you got to get through me to get access to that person. So definitely email me, hit me up, the people who are serious, and I'll get you plugged in. So here it is. Got to understand that the market moves in trends, right? We all know that part. We know the basics. Okay, there's uptrend, downtrend, and there's consolidation. So here's the thing with indices specifically SVX 500. This pair right here, it is kind of predictable. I trade it so much to the point where I already understand and know what it's going to do when it does it, and I catch that move right there. So here's the thing with SVX 500. It consolidates a lot, and I'm going to mark these zones for you. So first things first, notice when we zoom out, this is a four-hour chart. When we zoom out, you can see that the market has been on an uptrend since June 2020. So it, it jumped really high, right? It pulled back all the way down in September, then jumped right back up, and then pulled back down in November, and then it jumped back up. And from November till now, it has not gone this low again. It has not gone this low. So this is the lowest that it's been in the past. So you can see this is the lowest that it's been that we can see for sure right and then it jumped up and then it created a new low right which was right here then it created a new low which was here created a new one notice something right it jumped up came down went back up and pulled back down to this low right here and then it created a new low right here and now it's creating a new low. This is the most recent, right? We're on a four hour time frame. I'm trying to make you understand um, the pattern with this pair itself. So notice something here. 
once you mark up this this low you see how i marked up this low once the market breaks out and goes up or if it jumps up i already know that at the end of the day it's gonna come back down to this low and that's what's called a retest right and it does it multiple times guys notice what happens here the market jumps up and then comes back down jumps up comes back down jumps up comes back down it always retests that that new low that it created and that's where a lot of people you know would lose their money because they don't understand that the market is simply pulling back here's what we know right we know that the market has been on an uptrend look at that clearly it's been going up right price has been going up since october 2020 so it has not gone back down to this low as of yet it's on a rise right and here's what i want you to notice pay attention pay attention make sure that you're looking pretty close here's, here's the thing with with spx 500 right right now we're on a four hour time frame and let's zoom in a little bit this every time the market consolidates it has a breakout and this is exactly how this pair works it'll consolidate and then it'll break out so you not understanding how spx work you're gonna think okay um it's just like any other pair where i can just hold it no because it pulls back and when it does that drop it does a huge drop right notice this drop that it did right here notice this drop that it did right here what do you think it's gonna do next? What do you think? This is the next move that it's gonna do. This is the next move right here. And we have this higher high. This is the highest that has been lately. And then this is the move that we're expecting to happen based on what already happened, right? Notice the pattern, notice the pattern that happens right every time it consolidates when it does the drops and after it does the big move it sits and consolidates for hours right it consolidates for hours look at this area here right and then look at this area here and then here we have another one boom So this, these are just zones that I'm able to catch and just mark these up and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. The market consolidates and then it breaks out. So what you're looking for, you're looking for the breakout. Once it breaks out, it's going to pull back though. Notice the pullback right here. There's always a pullback. And in this area right here, somebody would be like, oh my gosh, the market is actually going down. Um let me sell right and it continues to go back up there you go right happens every time pull back there's always a pullback in the market so when this move happens we're going to expect for the pullback to come down here right form is going to drop pull back and then continue dropping until it consolidates again and then this area here and then it's going to make its next move to continue going right back up. Boom. That's what SPX is looking like. So the next move we're looking to catch is this drop, right? And then we got US 30. Now, they move very similarly, right? They move similarly, but however, um, US 30 does its thing sometimes and SPS does this thing sometimes, but you can see the similarities here, how they are both on an uptrend. They have been on an uptrend and they're basically both kind of doing the same thing right now with the consolidation and the highest high being right there. So you can see that this, this pair consolidated a little bit more, right? You can see US 30 consolidated a little bit more than SPX in, the, in that area. So when you have this whole area right here where it's consolidating, what you're catching is, you're waiting for the breakout. So notice that that same thing that we were talking about with SPX, how it does this thing and then it does the drop, right? It, it goes up and then it jumps up 
and then pulls back. Now it's consolidating. And what we're waiting for is the breakout. And the breakout, you know, may just be the drop. So here it is right here. We got this drop here, right? And then we got this drop right here. Similar to the SPX 500. So if you're milking SPX 500, you should, there's no excuses why you shouldn't be milking US 3 as well with the proper account, with the proper account. I don't know how other people do it. This is how I do it. And this is what works for me. This is what I understand. And this is what I'm sharing with you, right? This is what I learned. And this is what I have applied and know that it worked. So you can apply it. It might not work for you. It might. But if it makes sense, it makes money, right? So this is the next move that we're expecting to happen. And then the market's going to consolidate in this area here. And then for it to go right back up, right? So market's been on an uptrend. So we know we're not going to continue to sell for a long term, right? Because we are on a four hour time frame. However, we catch these moves on the five minute because I sculpt. So I'll, I'll, I'll wait to make all of this on a smaller, smaller time frame because I cannot see myself trading US 30 on an hour, on a four hour and holding it. I'm, I'm inside of the market and outside. I go in right there and get right out. So notice these moves, we're actually on a 15 minute time frame right now and look how big it is, right? So this whole area right here, look at what I marked up. The whole drop that we marked up on a four hour time frame, this is what it looks like on the 15 minutes. So when y'all be seeing those crazy big drops, oh my God, the market is moving fast, it's moving fast. This is what that is right here, right? This is what that is. And then it consolidates and then it jumps up and does that crazy move, and then you miss it because you didn't have the proper analysis running after the trade after it already broke out. Does that make sense? I hope that it did, right? So that's really that's really how it works for me. As far as these these um consolidated areas, I don't I don't really trade them because I already know this is where you know people lose a lot of money, and I I prefer to trade the breakout because I know it's already it's more safe to where. I know what's going to happen. I know that once the market breaks, it's shooting, it's jumping, and it's going to continue to do that. But when it's consolidating, it's hard to tell, you know, what's going to happen next because it's, it's literally like just up and down, up and down, up and down. So you might as well just save yourself the headache and have the proper analysis and just wait for the move, right? Wait for the move to happen. The market, you know, don't rush it. See what we have right here? This consolidation, we're expecting it to happen again, right? Just like I said, that same move that happened with US 30, it happened here, right? We marked this up on, notice we marked this up on the four hour and we're looking at it on the 15 minute time frame right now. So this whole drop right here, this is, how many pips is this? Too much, too much to count. Ooh, that's a lot, that's a thousand plus. That's a lot of pips. You know how much money that is? I can't even count because that's too many numbers, depending on your lot size. If you are trading US 30, stick to a 0.01 for every thousand. For every thousand that's in your account, you trade 0.01 because understand the lot sizes are different when you are trading indices. They are not the same as trading currency pairs. They are not the same. I repeat, they are not the same, right? So don't go dropping a, 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 a standard, you know, a 1.00 lot size with a $500 account. You can literally lose that with like five pips. If the market goes the opposite way, you can lose all of that within minutes. So properly manage the risks so that you can make what you need to make, right? The same way it could be on your side, it could also be against you. So you don't want to be on that other side, right? Yeah, we understand that we're going to lose, but also you want to be on the side that's winning. You want to be on the side that's making money. So make the smart move and trade smart, right? But that's really it. If this made sense for you, um, let me get some feedback. Basically, we're trading zones. That's what this is, trading zones. I trade zones a lot. I trade with the trend. Um, and this is really how I do it. I don't really um, use uh, indicators much for indices because simply I understand how they move. And I know I either catch the move or I don't catch it. When you see that move happening is jumping, guys, just let it go. You already missed it. Don't, don't run after it. You already missed the move. So 
that's really it guys i hope this made sense to you um have a great one tune in until the next video bye <laughs> So this is 24 hours after this markup. I left it and you guys can see that it is doing what we projected and they are moving the same way. I actually took the trade on SBX 500, but I didn't take it on US 30, but you see.